everybody, welcome to part two of creating this iPhone 4G. We left off by just creating the outline, so now what's left is shading it in and making it look pretty. So what I'm going to do is um, go to your layers, lock the top layer, which is our outline, unlock the bottom one, and then click it, and let's drag it to the side, just so we can see what the shading looks like. And you can use reference images if you want, but I'm just going to use this as a reference. So I change the opacity back to 100, and I'm going to lock that again. And then unlock the top one again, and zoom in. And we're going to start from the back and work our way up. So we're going to work on this back layer right here, and this is that chrome, which runs along the whole uh, side of the phone. And we're going to click on color, and then click black. And we're going to make this one a pretty light one something like that and then go to your stroke and we're gonna make this slightly grayer and if you click on control H it doesn't really help too much but it hides the points so you can see better and I'm gonna leave it at about 50 just have an even number and I'm gonna leave it at that and then we're gonna go up one more layer which is uh, this dark black area which is the glass portion so we're going to give that a stroke of black which is like a rubber I don't know. I haven't seen the phone yet, so I can't really tell. So then we're going to click on the black, but we don't want it completely black. Sorry to say the word again. But um, we're going to go at about, let's go at 96, just to be different. We'll go at about 96% uh, for black. And then click on the screen portion. And we're going to make this uh, slightly brighter, I believe. And you can always just click and drag and just sample it from there if you're too lazy to uh, work around. And we'll go to the stroke and we'll make the stroke 1. And we're going to want to make that slightly lighter. And it's not changing. And then once again, Command H, and that didn't do any anything. So we're just going to have to. Uh, work on our own. So I'm try 88. Yeah, it's still too bright. Let's go at 92. Better. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. Alright, so I'm going to zoom in to this home button here. And then I don't want to fill. I just want to stroke. And we're going to have this at about 88. Let's try. Feeling lucky. Very good. Might be a little too dark. Yeah, let's go at 86 and leave it at that. Alright, so when you have that, we're going to work on this uh, this home button right here. And I want the stroke to be a little bit uh, a little bit darker. I'm going to go 98. And then the fill is going to be a gradient. So you can click this square right here, which gives it the gradient. And the first top color, we're going to bring it down to about 98. And then the second one, we're going to have that pretty high. Let's try 80. Uh, let's go with 92. All right, so when you have that, you can grab the gradient tool, which is this right here. And we got to make sure we drag this the correct way. Something like that. All right, so we can uh, mess with it just to get it correct. And I want to make this bottom point just a little bit darker. It looks like it's way too light. Let's go with 90, 94%. All right. I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want to waste too much of your time. And that's looking good. Um, let's go up to the top where this camera and speaker at are at. And we want to make this. Let's check real quick what we use for the stroke around here. I don't remember. That is 98%. So let's do the same for around here just to keep it, uh, keep it about the same. So the stroke, we're going to change that to 98. Zoom in. Oops, don't click the wrong button. Zoom in. And the fill is going to be a uh, a gray color. Something like that. Let's go with 60. And this one is going to be even lighter. So the stroke, we're going to bring that down. Let's bring that to about 85. And then the fill is going to be... Let's click on the white and then just bring it up. Something like that. That works. Alright, so on the camera here, we once again want to use a gradient. Well, let's go with the stroke and bring that to 98. 
and then for the fill you want to add a gradient again. Now for the gradient this time it goes horizontally with the dark on the left side um, I don't know you can mess with that crap alright so we have that and I'm going to lighten this up a bit let's go to 97 percent then this one is going to be a bit lighter let's go to 87 let's make this one even lighter 95 and I'm gonna leave it at that alright then zoom in and I want to make this stroke less I'm gonna make it um, let's go with point 0.3 point 0.2 a lot of tedious work so click on here and we're going to make this a uh, not that light let's go with 91 and then this one we're going to change the stroke again to uh, 0.2 and the fill we're going to give it a green color so right now I'm in the black and white mode I'm going to click this arrow here and go to RGB and it didn't change let's click black RGB alright so then I'm going to drag this out to a green color something like that and then I'm going to lower the opacity just so it blends in more Alright, so I'm going to click off of there, zoom out, and it looks very good to me. Uh, I'm sure someone's going to critique it and say my colors are off, but you can do better. Um, I'm going to create this gloss effect here. So I'm going to save this, just so uh, if something happens, I can just resort back to it. And I'm going to go back to the pen tool, and I'm going to click here and about right here, make a curve click around like that we can remove the stroke click on white and then you want to grab this background layer and this top layer hold down alt and just duplicate it uh, duplicate it alright so when you have that uh, bring this to the front select both of those go to object clipping mask make and it just made uh, we can go ahead and delete this and it made this so the the gloss will line up so we're going to line that up and then go back to uh, opacity and we're going to lower this way way down uh, 4 looks good that might even be too bright let's go to uh, 2 and see what that looks like 3 of course 2 can't work alright so we got 3 and that looks good to me. Let's uh, delete this background layer because we don't need it. And just look at that. You can uh, enjoy it, zoom in, use it for whatever you want. Have some fun, play with it, try and uh, add an image inside of here. Um, maybe we'll do a tutorial working with a side view, but I'll probably wait until the iPhone's announced so we can actually see what it looks like. And that's going to conclude this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Don't forget to comment, and give me a thumbs up.